Women's Rights by Abdul Rahman Pajwak. Of the many matters that have ravaged this land's affairs, one of them is the subject of women's rights. Discerning biological differences is not the goal here. It's simply pragmatics, if you catch my drift, dear. Not everyone who is not a man can be called a woman. Not everyone who is not a woman can be counted as a man. It is false to portray a man as the sun's likeness. It is false to depict a woman as the moon's brightness. A woman's light of being is not endowed by man. God bestowed the light of being to both of them. In that manner, humankind bears two hands. A country's body is sustained by both woman and man. Do not disparage the hands as left and right. Two hands move freely in effort to unite. Traveled I to many lands, I did not see man and woman treated as here so differently. Where men are unwise, women are rendered useless. Whereas women are wise by nature and men are clueless. The conversation cannot be feebler than to speak that one gender is strong and the other is weak. In a country that considers women to be frail, the weakness of women is due to the fallibility of males. Let us suppose that weakness and strength have meaning, as supposition and argumentation is often revealing. Do not permit yourself to oppress those who are powerless, as oppressing those weaker shows only your own cowardice. <laughs> Thank you.